guys, uh, it started to smoke. What's going on guys, Basement is here. Welcome to, or welcome back to the channel. And yes, you read the title. We are gonna see if the Rockville K9 12 inch subwoofer is still trash. Now guys, this thing is the, I think this is the version three of this subwoofer. And um, yeah, this thing has not had a very good past. As you can see in these these t uh, titles and videos up here, yeah, not looking too good for the Rockville version uh, or Rockville K9. But they have a version three out. It's been out for a little bit, but I haven't really seen anybody review it. And uh, today we're gonna go in a deep dive review. This is gonna be the dual four ohm version. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put this thing to the test. It is a thousand watts RMS D4. So uh, I'm probably gonna hook it down to two ohms, hook it up to the car, abuse this thing. I'm probably gonna do a lot of free air. Uh, and yeah, let's let's see how much this thing can take. But first, let's take a look at it. Hey guys, if you wanna help the channel out, the affiliate links will be down in the description for Redota Power, Power Queen, Slops Audio, Sir and Vega, and Big Jeff Audio. Go down in the description and you can go look at the code uh, for 5% off on your order. All right, back to video. Guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like this video or subscribe. Uh, if you like my content, please subscribe uh, and turn off those bell notifications for every time I upload. I do a lot of videos on car audio, subwoofers, amplifier, batteries, you name it. And uh, yeah, I have a lot of fun doing this and let's get into this Rockville K9 unboxing. Now let's take a look at this thing. So this is the Rockville K9. It is a competition SPL approved. Uh, we'll see about that. And uh, let's see, so it is a new and improved th version three. Yes, there are three versions of this because the other two just could not handle, the coil could not handle the heat. It has a better heat dis uh, dissipation, improved stiffer dust cap, improved cone. I like to see that. And uh, yeah, let's get this thing out of the box. Packaged pretty well, let's get this foam off. All right, guys, taking it out of the box here. This is the Rockville K9. And uh, lo first looks, it looks great. I mean, the dust cap is very tall, as you can see, but it's also very stiff. Cone is very stiff. Mid-roll surround. Let's see, the coil, it's a three inch, 100% OFC copper coil. It is wound on aluminum though. Uh, let's see, we have one flat tensile lead going to each coil. And I think these terminals are 12 gauge terminals. I could be wrong on that. It's either 12 or six gauge. Uh, they look like 12 gauge though. Uh, so let's see, spider pack is glued and screwed down. I really like to see that. And uh, yeah, the magnet is gonna be 190 ounce uh, magnet. It is uh, double stacked, high quality Y35 magnet. Rockville on it. Yeah, dude, this thing, this thing looks pretty promising. Um, very, very sturdy basket, 100%. This thing looks pretty beefy. And uh, yeah, let's see how much this thing can take. We're gonna put it through the test, guys. We're gonna abuse this thing. We're gonna see if it's really worth the money. So this, this sub is $120. On Amazon, I'll leave links in the description for everything. And uh, yeah, this thing, Rockville is known to have really affordable gear and uh, subwoofers, amplifiers, really affordable. But this sub has a history of being kind of really bad. Let's see if Rockville can change history and see if this version three avenges all the other versions version one and two let's see if this coil can last and yeah without further ado let's hook it up to the car all right guys it's the rockville k9 i'm loosening up the spider a little bit on 20 hertz uh 61 watts pushing through right now and uh yeah let's get it i'll get back to you when i uh finish uh breaking it in a little bit so uh we can see how it sounds Alrighty guys, I got the uh, Rockville K9 hooked up to the car and it is inverted into this box. I know the box is pretty pretty small, that's why it is inverted and it will get the best cooling it can outside the box. And uh, I got my SMB right there. Let's play a couple tunes and see what this thing can take.
All right, guys, that was a little bit of a music demo. Let's see what we can uh, get on this RMS RMS uh, power test. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a probably a 40 hertz frequency and try and keep it as close as uh, as to a thousand watts RMS as possible and see how long it can last. All right, let's get it. Hi guys, RMS time. Let's turn it up and get to a thousand. So let me start the timer real quick and uh, get to a thousand. All right, let's get up here. Got my big jump audio base now. Guys, uh, it started to smoke. Cooling off the coil. Guys, not looking so hot for this uh, K9. It did not blow, but you get what you pay for. Guys, this Rockville did it did pretty okay, but it just could not handle the uh, RMS rated power for very long. All right, guys. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and if you want to see more, let me know down in the comments down below. And uh, I may do the Punisher next. If, uh, if you get a lot of likes on this video and you comment it down below, let me know if you want to see The Punisher. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.